get it. Stop right there. What is that? Hey, Osmo. What's up, Osmo? How's it going? Osmo, this is Michael. Michael, this is Osmo. How come you dressed in a robot suit? It's not a suit. I'm a real robot. My name, Osimo, stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. I'm the world's most advanced humanoid robot. <laughs> I can walk forwards, backwards, and even climb stairs just like a human. I was created to help people with everyday tasks in the home. I can open doors, work at tables, and turn on light switches. <laughs> I was designed for the real world. Okay, okay. I believe you. <laughs> Osimo likes to talk about Osimo. Yep. All right, anyway. Oh, well, thanks for stopping yep. me, Osimo. I didn't see that car coming. Exactly. That's why you never run into the street. Not to chase a ball or any other toy. Not even to chase after a friend or a pet. Drivers are supposed to watch out for people walking in the street. But you can't count on them to stop. Okay, but I get to get the ball back. Let's go get it together, and we will show you the safe way to cross the street. Yeah, sure. Okay. Right. Let's go. Before you begin to walk alone in your neighborhood or anywhere else, talk to your parents to decide when and where it's safe for you to walk. Chris's mom says he's standing the cross on his own. That's why he needs to be with an adult or a trusted older friend, like you or me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, what's the first rule about crossing the street? Stopping at curbs! Correct. <laughs> first, always stop at the curb. Then make sure no cars are coming. You want to look left. It's clear! Then right, to see if any cars are coming from the other direction. That's clear too. Cars move fast. There might already be a new car to the left. So look left again. Car coming! See what I mean? Okay, he's gone. Let's go! No, Michael. After the car passes, you have to start over and look left. Clear again! Then you look right. Nothing coming this way. And left again. It's clear, thank goodness! Now it's safe to go. Keep looking for cars as you cross the street. Listen for horns or motors or sirens. Stay alert. Sounds great, Let's go over what we've learned. Here's the street. Here's the ball. Here's the car coming. Now here's the curb. Always oh, stop at the curb. Correct. Always stop at the curb. Then, to make sure no cars are coming. You look left. Then right. Then left again. And only when it's safe, you cross. Uh-huh. What if you have to cross a street full of parked cars? Stop, stop at, at the, the curb. curb! Good. And then? I need to look left. But the parked cars are in the way. No problem. I'll just walk out past the parked cars and look. Not yet. Okay. Parked cars don't always stay parked. Before you step off the curb, make sure there is not a driver in any of the cars. If there is, they may back up or pull forward. Okay, this time there's nobody in any of these cars. Once you are sure of that, step to the edge of the parked cars, where you can see up and down the street. You look left, then right, then left again, until it's safe. So when there are parked cars in the street, you make sure the parked cars aren't running. You make sure no one is in them. When you know that it's safe, you step to the edge of the parked cars where you can see. Look left, right, left, until you can see that it's safe to cross. Good advice, Osmo. Now let's get back to the game. Hold on. 
What do you do if there's more traffic? A busy street. When the street is this busy, you need to cross at a corner with a traffic light. Let's go. Hey, this should be easy. We have a crosswalk and our own signal to tell us when to go. Michael, not so fast. Let's talk about the traffic lights. Who knows what they mean? That's easy. Green means go. And red means stop. And yellow means hurry. No, yellow means stop. But remember, sometimes cars don't. Sometimes they run through the red lights. The car is coming from all directions. That's right, Christopher. At an intersection, you not only have to look left, then right, and left again, but behind you, and ahead of you as well. Look, our light is turning green, and our signal says to walk. Uh, something tells me we shouldn't walk just yet. Jordan, you got it. That is because the signal does not decide when it's safe, it's up to you. Come on, I've looked left, right, left. The cars have the red light and they've all stopped. Good. So now we look behind us and make sure nobody is going to turn right. Because they might stop for us, but they might not. Then we look straight ahead to make sure nobody coming the other way is going to turn left in front of us. Man, this is taking a while. But we have to be safe. So we look behind us again. It's clear. And in front of us again. Nobody's turning. And is the light still green? Does the walk signal still say walk? Yes, let's go. Here we go. Always keep looking while crossing. Remember, a green light or a walk signal doesn't mean go. It means stop and look in every direction and only cross when it's safe. Cars come from four directions. Here. 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 And here. Only when you are sure nobody is turning into your path and the other cars have stopped, like they are supposed to, you can go. What if there aren't any crossing signals? Just stop lights? Or what if it's just stop signs? Yeah. The rules are the same. Always look left. Then right. Then left. Behind you. And in front of you. What if there's just a crosswalk? Just because there's a crosswalk doesn't mean it's safe to cross. Again, you have to stop and look and make sure that either no cars are coming or that the cars have stopped and the drivers see you. Because only I decide when it's safe for me to cross the street. That's right. Even if some other adult thinks it is okay to go. Nobody else can decide when it's safe for you. Even with a crossing guard telling you it's okay to go, always look for yourself. Don't count on anyone else to look for you. Now let's go play soccer. Not just yet. What's the first thing we learned today? Always stop at the curve. <laughs> then look left, then right, then left again. And if there's a car coming, you have to wait. And then do it again. Left, right, left, until there are no cars coming. And continue to look as you cross the street. What if there are parked cars? Make sure nobody's in the parked cars and that they're not running. And then you step to the edge of the parked cars. And you look left, right, and left again. And only cross when it's safe. And what if it is too busy to cross? You go down to the corner so you can cross at the intersection with a traffic light. And remember, 
parents decide when you're old enough to cross a busy street. Okay? Okay. And if I come to a crosswalk, green light, or walk signal, can I just go? No. no. Not yet. Why not? Because it's up to you to decide whether it's safe, not the signal. Look in all four directions. Left. Right. Left. Then behind you. And ahead of you. When it's safe, you can go. Excellent. Even if a crossing guard or adult tells you to go, you still have to look for yourself. Nobody decides it's safe except you. Again, I'm awesome all. Remember, it's up to you and only you to keep you safe. Come on, Asimo. Let's go play some ball. Hey, nice robot suit. It's not a suit. I'm a real robot. My name, Asimo, stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. I'm the world's most advanced humanoid robot. I can walk forwards, backwards, and even climb stairs just like a human. I was created to help people with everyday tasks in the home. I can open doors, work the tables, and turn on lights. I was designed for the real world.